Hello all awesome people out there, my name is Takiru and welcome back to this let's play of Quantum Break. So let's see if we can survive uh, a little bit this time. I'm not sure if it actually placed me. Um, I have um, been quitting the game and uh, went back into it. And I'm not sure the game has uh, placed me where I went to last time. Um, it's been a little over a week since I recorded last, so I can't actually remember where I got to either. So... But I think I went through this part here, but um, I will take it again if not. I can't remember. Yeah, I have been here before. I'm pretty sure of that. I can't remember if I survived it or not. What? I hit a barrel. No, 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 no. Okay, where do we have bad guys? Okay, there's something up there I want. I think it's up there. Good luck with that, I'm in the corner. You. I see you over there. Oh, it's not a person. I thought it was. Okay. Trying. Okay. Let's see, do we have one over? Ow! Where did you came? Down. What do we have? We have a guy up there. Can I get him from here? Just to get Chris. Oh, nice shot! <laughs> okay, I know there's no one else, so. I don't know there's the thing, but it's upstairs, so how do I get upstairs? I remember this place now, yes. Okay, there's something there that doesn't look right. What the hell? What's going on there? <laughs> Okay, uh, something was wrong and I didn't see that guy. So I think that was actually here <laughs> I stopped last time. So sorry about going through all the beginning there again. Okay, I don't have to kill everything here. Oh wait, oh it plays me all the way down here? Oh that's bull. Okay, I'll cut to where I was before then. Okay, I think I'm back at where I was before, but holy god, um, I kind of alerted everyone over the other area. The 
especially with that guy. Okay. Let's see. Three persons over there, so. Yeah, but you're down. This one. Oh, don't have any more bullets for it. There we go. Okay, then we have one up there. Can I? Hold in on his head. There we go. Okay, so that was the guy that was running away from me before, I think. Okay or not, he's yeah. dead. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Okay. Also, I need to get up here because there was the thing. Upgrade thing over here, I think. Still on the right track. Okay. Can I get in here somehow? Hey, Jack. The husky lady on Monarch Radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared up soldiers I mentioned to do the teleporting stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> Regarding some kind of chronon particle harvesting operation. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm looking into it. Keep you posted. Hey, just turned off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way. I can't grab that. <clears throat> oh god. Boys, <clears throat> work with me, please. Okay, what I need is down there. It seems. How old am I supposed to get down there? Wasn't that the area I was in before, actually? I think I found them. New. Anymore. 
There we go. Okay. What is that thing that happens all the time? Also, I've really gone the wrong way somewhere. Because it seems I can't get. It's, it's right there. Okay. I think I have an idea for how to get to it. Can I? I can't get out again. Okay. Fuck. Oh, well. Give me some reverie and then we are on our merry way. Okay, so I have to get up there, but it seems like I have to get out of the window. I don't really know, know what's going on here. Is there a bullet suspended in there? Apparently. Okay, so... What I could see was that it was out the window here. There's really no way for me. To get out there anymore. I think I missed that one. Okay. On with then. I don't want to spend too much time on something I can't get. Uh, looks like I have to go this way. Also because of that. Jack? Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? Not sure. But it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Uh, nothing to pick up. Okay, so I have to go this way. Or maybe I can actually get to that thing this way. Just like the one um, in the last episode I didn't know how to get to. Let's do this. Oh, fuck, there's many down there. Hello, I'm Dr. Sophia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances in the area of fire joint particles, better known as chronon particles. On July 4th, 2010, unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area we now refer to as Ground Zero, located within the Rubicon Industrial Zone. This resulted in extremely dense emissions of chronon particles, creating the perfect condition for the I don't like which this. led to the chronon harvesting operation you see today. All of Monarch's training technology is relied on these chemicals, most notably the Chronon Field Regulator, or CFR. Oh, sometimes I really wish that it didn't screw up like that. And I'm getting shot.
I know you're over there somewhere, but I can't get you from here. Okay, let's see. Can I see you up there? Apparently. See, there's two up there, no one behind me. I have to watch out for that canister behind me, though. Okay, that should leave only you. Okay, through you guys. Gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, I'm working on it. What the fuck? <laughs> I was just um, sliding there a little. No clear exit down here. What are you talking Maybe about? Upward. Anything important on this computer or just more data? Okay, so. There's gotta be something I can use to get up there. This one? Elevator. And I can get this one here. I know it's not my everyday elevator. All right. Mostly because um, it's not an elevator, and I use time power to use it. Okay, where do I have to go? I have to go. Tonight. After everything has happened. Yep. It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. <clears throat> well, then we're going to the gala. Maybe the gala is a way to flush me out though. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, and yeah, the thing I was trying to shoot before was that one. But yeah, as you saw, I kind of missed that. Is any secret down here? Nope. Well, then let's um, get outside. Crap, I'm losing a lot of these things here. Why does it say this one over there? Oh well. I'm not completing this run in this one okay. at the moment. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way is the dry dock? Mm. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Okay. If you're hugging the horn, I'm gonna kill you. Looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car. Dump the contents on the table. Well, this must be the briefcase then. Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. 
<sighs> I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. I would uh, never. Thanks for the vote of confidence. When have I last done anything stupid except for. Well, going to the dry docks. It's locked. There's got to be another way to get through here. Okay, let's see. Oh, right. If I... I'm pretty sure it didn't hurt that. Close. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Can't take a while to guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. Explosions, what are you talking about? There's no explosions here. Oh, that explosion. That wasn't me, I was on the other side. Um, you can clearly see that. Nothing to do with that explosion. Not at all. Okay. But at least I am out. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there. And it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Well, guard squads checking out that explosion. Striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter. I don't like this, but um, I can see on my time that I will save this for the next episode because I am running kind of low on time right now. So, with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can write a comment down below. You can subscribe for awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So, until next time, farewell. <laughs>